Today, Career Services brings you some information about learning from your career mistakes. If your career path rears off the road, here's how you can get it back on track. You can fix common mistakes before they damage your career. Let's face it, everyone makes mistakes, particularly early on in their career, but there are mistakes like forgetting someone's name or accidentally making an off-color joke to your boss, and then there are mistakes. The latter ones can wreck your reputation and do lasting damage. Some poor career choices can have a silver lining. For instance, mistakes are good if you can learn from them. Habit, it becomes a problem. Here are five frequently made career blunders paired with lessons to keep you from repeating them in the future. Mistake number one would be missing an important deadline. Even top performers drop the ball sometimes. But when you're buried in work, assignments can fall through the cracks. Say, for example, that quarterly sales report that was due to your boss a week ago. You know the one that's still a blank document on your desk. Lesson, tune up your organization skills. Find out where things fell apart and determine if it was something inside or outside of your control. Workers often miss deadlines due to poor organizational skills. Here's a hint. Try breaking down your work into categories based on priority level and set milestones for long-term projects. Mistake number two, not negotiating your salary and benefits. One-fifth of all workers surveyed by salary.com said they never negotiate their salaries. But you risk leaving a ton of money on the table if you don't negotiate, especially when you factor in compound interest. Here's a lesson. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Many job seekers don't negotiate salary or benefits because they're fearful of rejection and they don't want to appear too aggressive. In a Reister Mountain poll, 52% of respondents didn't even try to negotiate more vacation time and 21% now regret it. You need to become comfortable selling yourself. That way you can successfully negotiate your salary at your next job or persuade your current boss to give you a big raise at your next performance review. You might feel more at ease if you arm yourself with data that supports your request for higher pay. You can use compensation data from salary.com, payscale.com, or salaryexpert.com to get an idea of what you should be earning. Then try to calm your nerves, practice negotiating with a coworker. Mistake number three is to give up on networking once you have a job. A lot of people hate networking, and some people despise it to the point where it makes them physically ill. That may explain why a number of workers stop networking after they find a full-time job. After all, you're already gainfully employed, so why would you even need to network? Here's the lesson. Networking is a key factor to advancing your career. Part of managing your reputation is staying connected with people in your sphere and continuing to make new connections in your field. If you don't network on a regular basis, you could be missing out on a job opportunity since your contacts may not think of you if they hear of job openings at their company. Social media makes it easy for you to network online, but you can't solely rely on the internet to grow your inner circle. And remember, it's about quality, not quantity. Although you should attend industry conferences on a regular basis and join trade associations, there are easier and more fun ways to build your network. Luckily, there are a lot of ways to do this, like getting involved with community service, sports activities like golf tournaments or a bowling league, or a faith-based organization like a church. Another way is to volunteer for special project teams at work. Mistake number four, burning bridges. Whether you quit in a less than professional manager or hung your coworker out to dry, Burning a bridge can do lasting damage on your career. Let's face it, reputation is everything in the workplace. You never know if you're going to cross paths with someone again in the future. Here's the lesson. Apologize and recognize what you did wrong. You may be able to mend the relationship by making a formal apology, but if that's not possible, you need to at least assess the root of the issue. Take time to reflect on what caused the rift so that you don't repeat the behavior. Oftentimes, it's a matter of gaining more control over your emotions. You need to learn how to manage your feelings so that you don't say or do something in the heat of the moment that you will regret. Mistake number five, failing to brush up on your skills. 
To continue to advance in your field and attract new potential employers, you need to stay current. Unfortunately, it's easy to let your skills develop and lapse, especially if your employer doesn't offer any on-site training or certification opportunities. Here's a lesson, create your own opportunities for growth. Hiring managers want to know that you're committed to developing your skills. Take an online cl class, for example, attend seminars, research available certificates in your industry. Just don't let your brain gather dust, but check with your boss before enrolling. Your employer might be willing to cover any costs. And let's not forget to listen to the experts. It's only natural to take a few stumbles along your career path. However, as long as you know what mistake you made and how to fix it, you'll be sure to keep moving forward.